Yo, what's up, YouTube? Um, yeah, uh, it's been a minute since I made a video. It's been boring as shit, man. Boxing has been absolutely horrendous for the, the, the past month of, uh, of August. Um, not a whole lot of news and absolutely no boxing going on, so there really wasn't a whole lot to talk about. Even on YouTube, it was fucking, it was pretty much dead, but, um, hopefully after what happened last night, you know, we're gonna, you know, it'll, it'll start to pick up. Um, and September is really shaping up to be a really, really good month of boxing. I can't wait for next week. Um, last weekend we got to see the kid Gennady Golovkin do his thing. I was really impressed with him. Um, you know, he started my class off with an A. I, I, don't, I don't know about yours, but I was really impressed with him. And if he keeps on putting in performances like that on HBO, hopefully he gets to come back on the HBO. But if he keeps on doing that um, in front of the people that he's doing it, you know, you never know, man. Um, I got a bunch of things I want to talk about that happened over the course of this weekend. I normally don't even... I got like a little list that I'm kind of like reading ideas off and shit. I normally don't even do that. I normally just fucking just press play and, and, and do my thing. But I'm, I'm going to try to keep the video tight. Uh, no homo. Um, and, uh, and and just kind of, you know, not ramble like I'm doing right now. Um, Alright, so getting into it. Ward versus Dawson. Excellent performance for Ward. Um... Uh, I thought Dawson won the first round. I thought he might have won the second round. Uh, pretty much, that was like a 50-50 round. Round three through ten, uh, when the stoppage took place, Dawson turned it up and pretty much dominated every second of every round. Um, although, I, although I thought the compu box, compu box was a little bit fucking fucked up, like it always is. They had Dawson one round. I think they said he landed two punches, which was clearly bogus. But um, but from three to ten, he didn't win a round. <coughs> um, is, is Andre Ward pound for pound number one the best boxer in the world? I can't make an argument that he's not. Um, I think that may you might possibly be able to say that Mayweather still is, but I think that you have to really stretch to um, to come up with that conclusion. And even before the Dawson fight, I think that you know Ward was definitely number two on my list. I think I think I think this performance put him right over the top. But I think you you could have even made an argument that he was number one at that point, and I couldn't really. I couldn't really go against that. Over the past, over the course of the past two or three years, nobody's got a resume like Andre Ward. So, pound for pound, number one in my mind. Um, you know, I guess I guess be with a number two. The rest of them are not even close. Three, four, five. Marquez, uh, Martinez, and Pacquiao. It's not even close to Ward. That is, or even from in my mind, even even a Mayweather. But that's a whole other video. Um, you know, not taking any credit away from Andre Ward. He did his thing last night. He beat the dude that was in front of him. As a matter of fact, he beat the dude that called him out and decided to come down to his division and try to fight him for his title. And Andre Ward beat him, and he did it in spectacular fashion. Um, Chad Dawson, I just think he, I think he made the wrong decision. I think he thought that he could make that weight and feel comfortable, and he couldn't. And it was clear that he couldn't, you know. Um, but if you don't think that that had anything to do with the outcome of the fight that, that took place last night, you, you're kidding yourself. You know, I, I don't, Andre Ward, uh, Chad Dawson is not getting dropped if he fight if he's not getting dropped like that by, uh, by Andre Ward if he fights him at 175. You know, that's, that's my personal feelings on that. The fight would have been closer. I still think uh, Andre Ward beats him. But it would have been a closer, probably more competitive fight. You know, because at the end of the day, those punches are still going to land. I just don't think they would have had that kind of effect on Chad Dawson. Um, I had Ward... Prior to this fight, beating Chad Dawson by unanimous decision, and a day or two before the fight, I made a comment on Dwyer's page, and I said that I'm actually changing my mind, thinking, switching it up to uh, Ward by KO. Um, and that's because I saw the way Dawson looked the day before on, on the scales. He looked, he looked fucking, he looked drained. He looked drained, and I thought there was a possibility that Andre Ward could stop him. Um, why am I mentioning this, and what's the point to this? There is no fucking point. I didn't make a prediction video. I'm not trying to take credit for the shit, but I kind of am trying to take credit for the shit. So, with that being said, um, yeah, and if you don't if you don't believe Dawson was drained, I, you know I don't know I don't know what to tell you, man. There, there was there's, there's some rumors a week before the fight happened. There were some rumors that Edison Miranda knocked Chad Dawson out in sparring, not dropped him, not not hurt him. He knocked him the fuck out, iced him in sparring. So, and you know what, before, you know, those were rumors, nobody confirmed that, but I remember reading it, I remember storing that in my, in my little mental fucking Rolodex, and then, uh, and right after the fight, I immediately went back to the shit, pulled it out of its file, and, you know, to me, 
you know, to me that's too much of a coincidence. He got knocked out in sparring and he came out and he got fucking, he got stopped in, in the fight. Well, he actually quit in the fight. He actually quit. Um, surprised, yeah, surprised we're not here. I, you know, I, actually I shouldn't be surprised because Ward deserves all the credit. You know, and it would, it would be kind of fucked up to, to, to overshadow what it was that Ward did. Uh, and 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 the, and the headline being that Chad Dawson quit, but that is that is there is some there is some substance to that. There there should be that's something that we're within the next week or two we're going to start talking about. Um, Chad Dawson quit, and uh, I I think he quit. I think sometimes for a boxer it's harder to get to get outclassed. You know, for for somebody like Chad Dawson, I think his ego was just like. You know, once once Dawson caught him, almost Ward caught him with that shot that had him doing the fucking uh, the, the 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 tootsie roll in the in the middle of the ring. I think that that for him, for him that was it, man. I think he was like, man, fuck this, you know, fuck this shit, man. He was, you know, this guy's making me look like a fool in front of millions of people right now, and he just wasn't he wasn't beat for it, man. That's when he told Smoker he said he was done, you know. Um, I would have rather him, you know, if he if he wanted to quit, I would have rather him throw fucking 70 punches in a row, you know, with his chin out, and just fucking just went all out, and you know, if he got caught with a haymaker, he got caught with a big shot, I'd have rather seen him fucking go out hurt, you know, because he didn't seem, he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't that, he could have, he could have went on, I just think he was just, he, he didn't want to get embarrassed anymore, and at some point it was starting, to, it was starting to get embarrassing, um, you know, so that that's pretty much what it is, man. I hope I hope Dawson goes up to 175, does his thing, wins a couple fights there, and does not try to do 168 again. And hopefully, if he's impressive, and once Ward wipes out 168, uh, which is pretty much, I don't think there's really much left for him to do there. But I mean, I'm sure you know, fight Frotch again, and maybe fight fight, you know, let Butte build his shit up and knock him the fuck out. Uh, once that happens, you know, or, or you DM. Once that happens, uh, maybe maybe Ward comes up to 175 and fights Dawson. Maybe maybe we see something different. Who knows? Uh, Matisse versus Josie. Matisse is looking like a beast, man. Looking like an absolute beast. Um, he's a force to be reckoned with at 140. <coughs> That's pretty much it, man. Now, now we need to see Garcia and Matisse. That's the fight that I think everybody needs to see right now. Um, and hopefully, you know, Garcia goes out and does what he's got to do against Morales. Uh, which, which I'm hoping, hoping. Well, I'm not even hoping. I'm pretty positive that he's going to do that. Um, I'm watching that fight live. It's not too far from my house. I'm going to be watching that fight live. Uh, but right after that, that's the fight we need to see. Uh, I feel, I, you know, I kind of, I already, I already mentioned this in the one video. I feel kind of, it's kind of bittersweet for Josie. You know what I'm saying? Is this the one time he finally got to get on? He finally got to get on on HBO. He didn't, they didn't put a fucking bum in front of him like everybody else gets a chance to fight against a bum and build their name and build an audience for themselves. You know, they, they put him in against arguably the best 140 dude in the fucking world. You know, and he got his ass. You got his ass whooped, you know, but he, he took, he took, man, shit, you know, this dude, he took them shots like a champ, man, I could not believe some of the punches that this fucking dude was taking, and he wasn't dropping, you know, so, big props to him, and hopefully, hopefully it could be a gift too, man, hopefully these people, you know, they see, they see what Matisse did to him, and they get a little bit brave, and they want to, you know, maybe now they want to step to a Josie, you know, maybe they're thinking of him now, maybe they'll start thinking of him as a, uh, as like a gatekeeper or something, you know, and then, uh, you know, and then we get to see him on HBO again, and maybe he, maybe he, he does some, make, does some damage there. So you know, it could be a gift and a curse, or they, or it could just give him a reason to duck a, a Josie and not fight him because he got beat up badly by Matisse. Who knows? Um, what's funny about that too is that right after the Matisse fight, uh, Khan put some shit out on on Twitter. I think he said something like, uh, something to the effect of like, who the hell is uh, Lucas Matisse? Oh, that's right, uh, the guy that got beat. By Zab Judah or some shit, but the guy that got beat by Zab Judah, a fighter I already beat. Um, I made a video a couple months ago instructing Amir Khan to just shut the fuck up because he's making a fool of himself. I don't want to have to make the second installment on that video, but really, Khan, man, just stop, dude. Stop. Matisse, Matisse, Matisse would end your fucking career. He'd end your career. You know what I'm saying? You think that Danny Garcia shit? That 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 well, that's the beginning of the end of your career. Matisse would put stick a fork in that bitch. You gotta stop, Khan. Shut the fuck up. Um, Demarco versus Molina stoppage. I I didn't I didn't really you know a lot of people didn't like the stoppage. I don't I don't really see what the big deal is, man. The dude the dude got caught with something. He went he you know he went up against the ropes and crouched down and put his gloves up to his face and got caught with like 16 fucking shots in a row. 
and made no attempt to put a knee down, made, made no attempt to put his glove down. I don't know what the technical ruling is or what a referee is supposed to do in that spot, but the dude ate like 16 unanswered shots and he was in no position to counter. You know, so if you're not if you're not trying to take a knee, you know what's the ref supposed to do? Let him let him wail on you fucking 15 more times? You know, I don't know. I didn't. I think people wanted to see like a fight of the year type of fight, and when it when it turned out to be a 50 second fucking embarrassment, you know maybe that's maybe they're trying to blame the ref for that shit. But I don't I don't really see what the big thing is. Um, <coughs> last thing I want to talk about is the uh, Chavez versus Martinez, the 24 seven that took place last night. Um, I'm not believing the hype, man. I'm not believing the hype, dude. Uh, you know, Freddie Roach is going out there and he's saying that, you know, Travis is not dedicated. He's he's uh, he's coming in late. They're showing footage of, of, of Roach having to wait an hour and then leaving the fucking gym and this, that, and the other thing. I'm not I'm not putting too much stake into that. For one, I don't believe a fucking thing that comes out of any of Freddie Roach's camp. For two, you know, it doesn't. It just to me it doesn't make any sense. You know, why why would you air that kind of footage? Like in, in other words, in the middle of your training camp. You know, this is the message that you're sending to the dude that you're going to fight. You know, the message is, oh, the guy you're going to fight's not not going to be in good shape. The guy that you're going to fight is not showing up to training. He's fucking staying in bed till 5 in the afternoon. I'm not believing that shit. You know, if I'm Sergio Martinez, I'm not falling for that shit. You know, and even as a fan, I wouldn't fall for that. You know, it just it doesn't happen in sports. You know what I'm saying? You don't see, Even, like, last year, if you follow baseball, last year... Uh, you know, the Red Sox, they were fucking eating chicken wings and eating fried chicken and drinking beer in the clubhouse and playing video games. That didn't come out while they were trying to make the playoffs. That came out when the coach quit. You know, that's when it came out. Then the coach turned around and I think fucking wrote it. Or somebody, somebody made it. Somebody said some shit. Somebody exposed it, in other words. But it didn't happen while they were in the season. You know, that shit happens always after the fact. I could see if Roach and Chavez broke up and somebody asked Roach's opinion on Chavez. And then he threw, threw these things out there. Then I could, they'll be like, all right, well, then, you know, he, he's, uh, there might be some sour grapes, so there might be some truth to it. Who knows? But the fact that they're doing it now, a week before the biggest fight in his life, a week before the biggest fight in, in, in Roach's year, you know what I'm saying? Roach's had a pretty shitty year as a trainer, you know? I, I don't see, I don't see how that, you know, in other words, it'd be more believable if you told me right now, why do I think he's doing it? In my mind, I would it'd be more believable that they're doing it to try to gain an edge, not give somebody an edge. You don't tell somebody something that you know that to to make the dude feel more comfortable about the fight. You know, you tell him something. You, maybe you want to give him a false sense of security and have him come in thinking, "Oh, this kid ain't in shape. He ain't ready for me." And then, oh shit, you know, you find out that, that he's in that he's in excellent shape. You know. I just don't, I think, that, I think they're full of shit, man. I think they're full of shit. I'd watch for it. Um, you know, but I guess we'll find out next week. And this got nothing to do with my prediction, man. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm going to take it on the chin like a man because I've been catching a bunch of shit for that, predict, for that prediction I made. But I still got Chavez by TKO. Um, as, the, as the days get close, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous about that prediction. But fuck it, man. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. That's just the way I think it's going to go down. And it's not that I'm... I don't want to believe what I'm seeing because that because of my prediction. I just don't think it makes any sense. You know, even if those 24/7 cameras are there, they could easily. I, I think that they have the right to say, well, we don't want this being shown. We don't want this being shown. You know, and if you don't believe that, then 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 why don't we see any uh, you know footage of Mayweather sparring? You know, obviously if Mayweather can turn around and say, well, listen, I'm about to spar, turn the cameras off or whatever it is that they do. Then I think that Chavez and Roach, you know, can can if if he missed a day at the gym, they could turn around and tell him people don't put this in, you know, don't put this in the 24/7 or whatever. Or they can turn around and say put this in the 24/7, and and fucking you know, and let's create some sort of controversy. Cause that's really the only thing that was interesting about the fucking show, you know. The rest of it was Martinez fucking barbecuing and training, and Chavez training. You know, the only thing that was interesting was that Chavez is fucking lazy, and he, and he wakes up at 5 in the afternoon, and he don't go to, to, to the gym, so, I don't know, man, uh, hopefully I did good on time, that's pretty much it, man, uh, we're gonna find out what it is next week, bunch of boxing going on this month, and I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you, let me know what you think.